Uh, hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Beauty on a Budget. And today I'm up here in my master bedroom. I was just uh, going to get ready to do some laundry and I just thought uh, uh, today is March uh, 1st. It is the first. <laughs> Today's March 1st and so I know spring is just like coming up in just a couple of weeks here. And around this time is uh, putting the winter coats away and bringing up my spring coats. So I thought I would just go and organize all my coats. Just one second, I'll just move the camera down on the floor here. So I would already got my, it's crooked now. I've already gotten my, no, it's not gonna stand. I've already got my coat separated into a couple different piles here. I also have a pile of laundry that have got some mystery stains because I washed my clothes with my husband's clothes and he was either working outside uh spraying chemicals of whatever kind like if it was a bin for cleaning anything uh degreasing anything or just weed killer or anything else he did uh, he got some stains on his shirt and a couple of his shirts got him thrown in with my laundry and so i've got some clothes that got some mystery stains but i was able to get the stains out of his shirt so now I'm going to work on getting the stains out of my shirt, but oh, I'm just going to move this. I'm sitting on my pile of laundry. So I've got these two wool sweaters. And I said wool is one of those really interesting things because they are dry clean only. However, this one says hand wash only, but I'm going to, sorry, just wool is just bothering me. When I was trying them on, making sure the zippers and everything worked, oh, it hit my face and now I'm just, it's just kind of itchy now. So I've got these two. I've got this one and I've got this white one. So I guess maybe what to do with the maybe it's got to to do with the lining, but this white one says to dry clean only, and this one here says hand wash only. Well I've got a couple different settings on my dryer. I've got one of those fancy dryers that hooks up to the well uh water so I can actually do dry cleaning at home. So I'm gonna show you how to do dry cleaning at home home with a dryer. Now it only works if you have a dryer that has the water a hookup. So these are dry clean only and I've got these other coats here that are all dry clean only. I've got this nice gray coat. This is my, one of my favorite coats I love. Uh, it's made by Guess. I've got uh, some repair on the lining. Uh, I didn't spend a lot of money on this coat. See, I got My husband bought me this coat at Value Village for no, under 20 bucks so nice coat under 20 the lining was damaged uh, so I he bought it for me about two years ago I've only just um, spot washed it but I've been wearing it a lot lately so it's got the cuffs are really stained and dirty so I'm going to wash it and these are dry clean only so I'm going to stitch this so I'm going to fix the lining where it's kind of ripped in the arms they both both arms need a little bit of uh, repair, and then I will be cleaning. And I got these other three here. They're all from Ricky's, and all three of these are dry clean only. So I said I've gone through. I've checked it. All the belts or buttons are there. These ones have these other little clips. Everything is here. The zippers are all work good. If they have belts, all the belts are there. I always double check that any of the hoods have detachable hoods that they're all there. All the buttons are in place. It's just part of washing clothes. These I haven't actually wore this one this winter. Maybe one day, but I know I didn't wash it last year and I wore it a lot last year. This was my favorite coat last year. Uh, for winter so I don't think I washed it before I put it away and I know I haven't washed these ones so this one I got husband got me this one it's from Ricky's this was a few years ago it's got for me for Christmas hi puppy <laughs> she just walks by licks the camera okay so these are all dry clean only so I checked the zipper works good all the zippers I'm just checking in the pockets making sure that you know, there's nothing in the pockets. I don't think I've checked the pockets yet since I've been just double checking everything. So but with these ones here that has this belt, I will be taking the belt off for the cleaning because this one here is a little bit different. It's like a faux leather. I don't want to put this through my, you know, through the machine to wash. And then I've got this one and I didn't wear this one this year. I wore it a lot 
two years ago, two winters ago, and I lost one of the buttons, so I have to repair it. I got to stitch one of the buttons on. It holds the belt. I have it in my one of my jewelry boxes. But if you look at the collar up here, you can see it's been well worn. It's got lots needs to be washed. The sleeves are or the cuffs are all really dirty. Compare like what they should look like. Again, all the buttons are here. Except the one that I've got to fix. I've got to repair. So I got a couple coats I gotta repair before I wash. But I said it's going into spring, so I'm probably not gonna be wearing some of these winter coats in the next couple of months. So they can just start to clean and put away. Then I have this one. It's just a white hoodie, same thing, like washing like white laundry. Uh, I try to take my my very light colors and my whites out. I don't do whites, darks, lights. I guess you know, however different I guess light dark colors. And you just have different categories. I don't know, I've got a friend who has like seven categories for when she washes laundry. It's like why? <laughs> I just do everything is just okay, it's either towels and bedding, and then and for clothing, it's just everything is color, unless it's extremely dark or extremely light. Otherwise, everything falls in the category of color, so then I don't do a lot of sorting. But this one is uh, white, and I've got some stains on it. I spilt coffee. So I've got some coffee on here. I also have another white uh, two-piece uh, sweatsuit that I need to wash, so I'll be washing those together, but I have another setting on my machine. I don't remember if it's on the washer or the dryer because my washer's got lots of these small settings too where I can do a half a load, a small load, I can do jumbo, extra large, multiple settings, which is one of the reasons why we have the set we have is because my husband asked me what was important for me for a uh, washer and dryer. And I guess they were on the high end of of the you know spectrum of like how much you want to pay for a washer or dryer well i have a lot of dry clean only coats i didn't realize i had quite that many but i knew i had a couple that i usually just kind of hand wash or like just kind of spot wash i guess but having a dryer that's able to do that just kind of saves money i've never actually paid in my entire life anything dry cleaned i you know one item i had one item that was dry cleaned and i i didn't have to pay for it so there's one item in my life that was dry cleaned and I didn't have to pay for it. Okay, then I've got this one. I actually thought this would be a dry clean only. Um, it's by Novelty. And it was made in China. And I think it says hand wash or was it say? I was going to double check because I had these all in different categories. Oh, now i got to find the washing instructions. Oh, no. Do not dry clean. Yeah, it says, yeah. Do not dry clean Oh, no, you can wash in cold water. Yeah, machine wash in cold water. That one surprised me. So I really thought this would have been a dry clean only, but it's just a machine wash. These ones here are also all just machine wash. Like it's coming up to the season where I'm, I like the longer coats. They kind of keep my legs a little warmer. Uh, this one, again, I got, my husband bought me this one at Value Village as well. Let's see the name on it is Kristen, Bl Christian Blake. Anybody who does the labels, I don't care. But I like the color. It's got the cute little belt. And it's got all these extra things. So the only thing I don't have is it's got these little tabs here for where it was either, I believe it would have been a faux fur trim. So that's the only thing I don't have anymore is any faux fur trims. I used to keep, I had a bunch. I used to uh, keep all the faux fur trims that came off of different clothing if I pass it on and or if I had to get rid of the clothing because they got damaged. If I don't need it, I would try to keep the fur with the coat or the shirt or whatever when I donate. Occasionally they got missed. So occasionally I would donate clothes that needed the faux fur and then a month or two later I'd find the faux fur in another you know drawer and I think oh I, should, I felt bad that I forgot to donate. But then I always have enough coats like this. I don't anymore, so I don't have any of the faux fur anymore. But I then, I used to go, because then sometimes you can go to the secondhand shops and they would sell the chunks of faux fur because it happens. You donate the faux fur and the piece of article of clothing in the same bag and then they get separated, you know, uh, at, the, at the thrift store because they don't have time to piece everything together. So I used to have some faux fur. I don't anymore, but this one does need the faux fur. So that's what these little hooks are for. So I didn't mind that, but again, it was under 20 bucks. And this one, I'm just double checking now. 
Yeah, machine wash, cold. Well, again, that's just a regular machine wash coat. This one here, I know is a machine wash. Now, this one, when I go to wash it, I take the hood off. I've never put the hood because of this type of faux fur. I don't put the faux fur in the machine, in the washer or the dryer. Uh, when my girls were little, they had, or younger, my older two were younger, they had these cute little um, sweatshirts that had the faux fur trim and the hood like this, and I didn't know any better. And I threw them in the washer and they fur fine, and then they got thrown in the dryer, and then they all just bunched up and matted, and it wasn't very nice. So this is, so I don't, so now I'll take this hood off and I hand wash the hood. Now I can see that here, there's something else I do. I do brush this with a, say so like a pet brush, to get some of these mats out of the faux fur. Because it does matte, because I haven't worn this for a few years, so I know I have not washed this coat for quite a few years, but I know I also haven't worn it for probably three years, so I probably haven't washed it in three, four years. I'd hate to say that, but you know, it happens. It's a winter coat, you wear it once or twice that winter, you may not, you know, you may forget to wash it, which is why I like, every once in a while, just pull all my coats out and just wash them all at once. It is, it takes a, almost a day process to pull everything out and separate and then wash it, but it's worth it. And again, I just check, and this one, I think this one had the lining of the pocket need to be repaired. Yes, this one, I'm going to have to repair some lining of this one too. It happens. This one, I know my husband actually bought me for our first, no, our second Christmas. So I've had this one you know, a long time, so it means a lot to me. So, I take extra care of that one and so we didn't get the well, we did get the temperatures that I would normally wear this one at it's super warm but I wasn't out in the really extreme cold this winter like I have been in previous winters and then I got this nice one here I love this color uh, this one says it's from Clio I know my husband bought me this one also from Value Village under 20 bucks see so you can like save a lot of money if you buy a second hand it's you know, nobody's really going to notice, you know, like once you take the labels off and you wear it a few times, you know, like who cares what you pay for your clothes. This one actually has a nice hood and it is detachable. So I can detach it if I needed to just to clean the hood because that does happen. Sometimes like it's just like this hood has some dirt. It's just where however you wear it, whatever it rubs against. Sometimes you don't need to wash the whole coat. Uh, I know I didn't wear this one this I wore this last summer or last spring and going into the summer I think I wore it a couple times in the summer when it rained because of the type of uh, material it's actually really nice for like a fall spring kind of coat I know I didn't wear it this fall I think I wore it last spring so I know it hasn't been washed for, for a while either so I just thought well I have a couple coats that I spilt coffee on that I have to wash so I might as well go through all my coats and then I've got this one this one is by Calvin Klein and it's also a water resistant wind protector one and again my husband got me this one again under 20 bucks at Valley Village uh, the only thing that well, okay there's a story about this case okay, so I was at the mall I was at the bay they had this Calvin Klein jacket it looked just like this but it was a uh, more of a pink mauveish color like a pink purplish uh, I think it was more mauve, not really lilac, mauveish. I don't know. I do know the color. I just and so, but it was like two hundred and eighty dollars. And so, I told my husband I liked it. So we went to the bay and I tried it on. He said, "Yeah, it was a good coat." Then and I said, well, "I like it because I like the color, but I like the style of it and the fit." And and we go over to Value Village, and this was under twenty bucks. And I tried on and I and I said, "I like this one." I said, "Yes, I like the color." of the bay, but I like the price of this one. Now this one has one major flaw and this is the only thing I don't know how to clean. I gotta find it. The belt, I didn't notice. I always check that if they have belts, the belts are with them, the zippers are good, buttons, snaps, everything like that. Um, it's got these black spots. Uh, so I was wearing this coat without the belt. I was actually using a different belt from one of my other coats with this. I don't think I have that coat anymore because I think I got rid of it because I had too many white coats. So, uh, if you notice, <laughs> I don't know how many of my coats are white. White is the hardest color to keep clean. Let's get all your coats in white. 
I've had this whole phase thing where all my coats were white. So, and all my boots are black. And I do have one pair of white boots now, but I don't know. So this, I didn't, so I didn't really notice this when I, when I was checking the coat. But it was under 20 bucks, so I didn't even notice this till we got home. And I thought, well, maybe I could wash it, and I've been trying. So I'm not sure if it is just a little, if it's a stain of some kind, or if it is like a mold. Because like it feels like it's more like a stain, because some of these little spots I can like pick off. I'm not quite sure what that is, but I'm going to try a few things that I've got for cleanish for removing stains. Now I've gotten some of the stuff out of my husband's clothing and I'm working on getting them out of my clothing. So I'm going to see if I can get this clean. I mean, it's not like I run a shape of, oh, look, I've got dirty clothes. I'll show you how to clean my clothes. No, it's just, I don't know what these spots are. Now I was looking at it today and I think they might be more like mold. Or a mildew, I guess. I wouldn't say mold, but I guess like a mildew. Because the spots are now coming through to the other side. But I didn't have the belt attached. I actually kept the belt in a separate location just because I'm like, it's just a belt. Uh, I can easily find another white belt. If I can't get this clean, I can, you know, white belts are easy to get. I think I have a couple. You know, I said like, for me, uh... I don't, I'm not one who cares like, you know, name brand stuff, you know, something loses a button or, a, you know, uh, a button or a snap and I replace it out with a new one. I don't care if the the new one doesn't have this, the same name, like, you know, if it's not like the name brand snap or something. I know some people that bothers them. Me, it's, I don't care. It's my clothes, you know. So that is, that goes in the washer. Then I have these two other shirts that I took from my husband's stuff that he had stored. Uh, I was going through all his clothes, uh, moving them from one closet to another closet because I needed the closet space. So his stuff went from, you know, the master bedroom was half and half and slowly my stuff's been taking over the master closet. So now the whole closet's mine and all the dressers in the room are now mine. He's got just the two, two drawers and the nightstand there. <laughs> His, for his clothes uh, slowly you know like just I don't know so these were his so his stuff was getting moved from one closet to another closet so they got moved down to the basement closet and then I needed that space for some for my day home stuff and then when our two older girls moved out well the one bedroom became a spare room so all his clothes are now in the spare bedroom closet but I found a few items that fit me so I've got a couple hanging up they're fine they're clean I wear, haven't worn them since last summer, but I know they were washed. There's a couple coats, and they're already up there. I've got a, I've got a t-shirt that I wear all the time, so that's different. But these two I have items I haven't wore. I don't know what this one is made out of. It feels like it would be like a wool, like a wool blend or something. It's got that scratchy feel to it. I don't know. I don't know the name on it. The tag is like completely gone. There's just a little bit of the glue left from where the tag would have been. It does have this little logo with a triangle for a teepee. I guess it's a teepee with the Canadian flag, a maple leaf in it. So I know it's a Canadian brand. I can't, I know the tag. I've seen this lots of time, but I can't think of it. So I'm gonna treat this as if it's a wool and I'm gonna put it in on a, like my hand wash cycle. And then I have this one and I really thought that this was a wool sweater. I just saw just now um, that it's not. It's actually ac was it acrylic. Yeah, 100% acrylic. But it's the tag that, you know, really says it's made in Taiwan. It says Bay Mart Hudson's Bay Company. So again, you know it's an older style shirt, but it looks so good on me. <laughs> I just, I haven't worn it because it just needs to be cleaned. I don't know. For some reason, you know, his clothes have no smell. Like these, I don't know when the last time was that these got washed. I don't know when the last time was he wore these, but all his clothes that he had stored, he had them on hangers stored properly. One item per hanger. He had them all in covered in either garment bags or the dry clean bags or a few clear garbage bags. So I think, you know, he, he really just took care of his clothes, but so I'm going to wash these today and, and see how they they feel because this one's a little scratchy around the neck so if I can't get it to soften up as I think that might be part of it if sometimes their clothes feel a little itchy stiff it could just be uh, 
uh, you know, like your whatever you was washed with last, like the detergent, I think just builds up sometimes or just sits in there and it can be a little rough. Also because I don't know, I am very sensitive to like soap residues on things or just the fragrance of things. So just because I don't smell anything right now or just because I'm rubbing it, my hands are a little bit, you know, the skin on my hands is a little thicker. I'm used to more things, but other parts of my skin are just more sensitive to materials and things. So if I can't get this to soften, because I said, if I were to put this on, this would bother my neck. It's so scratchy. Even this tag is one of those old, you know, like 60s, 70s, 80s type, uh, like, that silk, uh, it's like a shiny tag, I don't know, whatever th the thread is, it's a thick thread and it's it's just uh, very, very, it just really bothers me. My whole neck would be just uh, broke out in a bad rash. So if I can't, then I'd have to get a white um, blouse and I don't think I have a white blouse anymore at the moment. I've got lots of other colors, I don't think I have a white blouse. I'm just looking at my closet if my door's open. No, I don't have a white blouse. So I mean, one thing I'd have to go and purchase if if I can wash this and it feels good, I'd have to see if I can get this over my head. I haven't even tried yet just because I wanted to wash it first. And then I, I've got these other clothes. So just one second, I'll just move these out of the way and grab the other two stacks of clothing. Oops. Okay, just hitting record and just put my camera over again. Okay, my leg just fell asleep, so it's all tingly and stiff. So here's, I've got some clothes. So these are actually my daughter's shirts. Uh, she dyed her hair like blue and green. So she's got the hair dye on the shirt. I know how to get that out. Uh, I think this one had it too. I think that's why she gave this one to me. Yeah, this one's got it too. Just got some hair dye. Her hair was wet and it just, you know, the hair dye dripped. So I know how to get hair dye mostly out. If not, then those become the clothes you wear when you dye your hair next. Uh, these are some of the shirts that I have that have these mystery stains that are from my husband's clothing. Like, I love this shirt, but you can see that stain right there. It's like an oil or grease stain uh, from washing my clothes with his. So I'm very, I really try hard to check his shirt as I'm throwing in the washer to make sure he doesn't have any stains, but occasionally they get missed. I don't see the stains. I didn't realize he was out working in the garage or out in the backyard and and that was the shirt he was wearing when he did it and then I wash my stuff and then my stuff gets wrecked. So actually, I think this is actually the least stained shirt. Like some of these other ones like I said like he was working hard doing things. So look at all those stains. That's from whatever chemicals he was working on. This one is my, my favorite shirts. Wonder Woman. Same thing. It's got this big massive stain from the same with these like these would have all been from the same well uh, not the purple shirt but these white ones were all washing the same with one of his light colored shirts see just right in the middle of the entire tank top just big massive stain so I'm gonna see if I can get these clean I'm trying to see is this one oh yeah this one too like my Betty Boop shirt got some stains this one, I don't remember which, I know, okay, I just saw the stain on the pink one. I couldn't remember, no, I don't think there's a stain on the blue one. That's good. So no stain on the blue one, but it still needs to be washed. Uh, I know this one has a stain. I can't, fig, I can't find it. Sometimes I can, but he felt bad because this was one of the last ones that got a stain. Um, and I washed some clothes that he bought me a new shirt to replace this one if I just because I couldn't wear it because I've been trying to get it stained. Oh, I see it's right there, but it was huge all the way straight down. Uh, this one too. This is my Felix the cat hoodie. I've been working on this one. I think I may have actually got all the stains out of this one. It took a lot of work to get the stains out because they go all the way down the front, the back, the sleeves with these little grease or oil stains. And this is what I said. I've got this. This is my Powerpuff Girl uh, hoodie. Or, uh, not hoodie. It's just a sweatshirt and the sweatpants. So these, um, again, I've got, I've got a cycle, I've got a setting on my dryer that I used, that I put these in. The biggest thing I have is having dark animals. So I just get lots of pet hair on these. These I wanted, to, I knew these need to be washed. And I knew this, 
uh, Tommy uh, hoodie needs to be washed. I'm just going to wash those three items together. I just knew if I put them in this pile with these things, then I can get them kind of all my laundry kind of sorted and know what I have to do. Um, okay, this, oh, this is the repair pile. Okay, that's different. That's, those three items need to be stitched. I've got this nice jumpsuit here. It's a nice pantsuit that I got. Uh, the little thing that holds the belt on uh, just got, just needs to get a quick stitch. I've got my little t-shirt here. It's got a rip right in the whole side. It's split. And I've got a nice little summer dress and it just, you know, I've got a, I've got a tank top too. The same thing. These little, little, um, hook things. I don't know what they're called, but they look like a little belt hook kind of a thing. You know, like tank tops have them, other undergarments have them. So I've got a few tank tops in this one that needs that. So I've got to go and buy some little pieces because I don't have any left. So I want to get this, uh, this nice summer dress ready for summer. It also has some stains that needs to get washed too. So I think that's about it. On my bed behind me is all my bedding that I've got to go through and wash. Uh, again, because it's just one of those things like I've got comforter sheets, pillowcases, but it's different types of uh, like my sheets and my comforters and half the pillowcases are one thing, but I've got a few pillowcases that are special that I take that I can't just wash regularly, which is based on what material they're made of. So now I guess I'll see you in a few moments in my laundry room as I start washing everything. Okay, I'm going to have to say sorry about the lighting in my laundry room. Uh, one of my light bulbs burned out. Uh, but anyway, so this is my washer. So I've got all these different cycles and things. I've got all these other display here. So I've, I can program all these different things. So I've got... Um, so anything in the red, because it says it's a steam cycle. So I've got allergen and tub clean. So those both are steam cycles. So I've... Very rarely would I ever use this allergen. This, of course, is when you're cleaning out the machine, which I think I probably don't do it as much as you're supposed to, but that's okay. I've got sanitary, which is an extremely, extremely high, high temp. I've only ever used that setting one time on some bedding because it was, um, I run a day home, so something happened. So I only used that one one time. This is bright white. It's also a pretty high setting. And I got bulky large, heavy duty, and then cotton normal. And I got jumble wash, towels. I don't use the towel setting. I just kind of, if I'm doing towels, I just kind of use either the heavy duty or the bulky large. I find this setting, I did use it once, and I found the towels weren't as clean as they are if I use the other settings. Permanent press, I don't have anything that's permanent press. That's okay. This is the hand wash wool cycle. So this one I do use a lot. Delicates, I also use that one quite a bit. A speed wash and a small load. And what's good about this speed wash is, let's see if I can turn it on. Let's turn it to speed wash. The cycle's gonna be about 15 minutes long. Let's see if I turn to a uh, small load, it will, the timing, yeah, I'm pushing buttons. Okay, then the time will de the est estimated time will base on when it does its load sensing. See, delicate, like you know, 41 minutes. Hand wash, 55 minutes. So permanent press, don't know. Towels, don't know. Jumble wash, you know, almost an hour for that cycle. I think uh, almost an hour for that one. See, some of these, it's just. Uh, it will determine on what uh, setting you're needing. Just give me one second. All right, sorry about that. So that is the washer settings. And then it's got these different cycles. I never touch this. The only thing I ever make sure is that the signal is always on high. Sometimes it gets turned off and then I don't know when my thing has uh, finished cleaning. The other one here is the child lock. Um, it used to be really important to keep my machines locked when my kids were younger, especially these being front loading. I was really worried about that. Uh, we had our other set were not on the base. Like these ones are on the base. Our other ones were not on the base. They sat directly on the floor. So I always made sure to have the child lock on. 
I'm going to say, I don't know if I really like a front loading. But things I like, things I don't. <laughs> you know, just uh, no agitator. So you can get a, more stuff in, supposedly. Okay, and then here's my uh, dryer. This is a steam cycle and sensor dry. So it will know when it's dried. And it's really cool that I don't have to do much about that. So I've got the cycles are normal, heavy duty, bedding, low temp, dry, antibacterial. Again, this one I use for my day home stuff. Uh, steam fresh and steam sanitary. These are the two I use when I'm doing my dry clean only. And then I've got jumbo dry, permanent press, delicates, towels, and then I've got a manual dry, speed dry, so I can time for how long it needs, an air dry, which I never use, and it has this downloaded thing, which I've never touched. Then you can do your custom stuff. The only thing I make sure is my signal is always on high. And I do watch these because it will tell me when my flow sense or my, when it's, um, having trouble with the flow so it knows that there's something wrong or it needs to clean the filter so those two let me know if there's ever a problem and usually any um, on my dryer I usually get uh, two error messages and they're always to do with the lint trap not being cleaned properly so with that being said this also has these stupid smart <laughs> diagnostic things I did download, does this one have it too? Yes, this one has it too. Because we bought the washer, because our other washer went, and then a couple months later we bought, went to get the dryer, and they didn't have this one because they had gone to a different system. So that's why our two sets, or the washer dryer, don't match perfectly. We bought them within probably like six, seven months of each other, and they went from this design to this design. And this also has this little sliding oh, it will pop open lid. So it's got these little compartments. So if you're just doing laundry, you find things in pockets. I don't touch this at all. I don't, it's just full of dust because I didn't want my kids to know about that. So I guess with that being said, I guess I'm just going to grab my first uh, bit of laundry and start washing. Okay, I just checked the lint trap is empty. So my first thing I'm gonna wash are these three white items. So there's that Tommy uh, hoodie. Then I got my Powerpuff Girl sweatshirt and my Powerpuff Girl sweatpants. So those three I'm gonna wash together. And I'm just gonna get it in the dryer. And I'm gonna just turn to the Steam Fresh. Oops, so let me turn my, move my camera up so you can see. So I just got it on the steam fresh and it says it takes three minutes. So I'm just gonna press the start button. There. Oh, now see, now it says it's 10 minutes. See, it always does things like that. It says you got this many minutes and then it turns to something different. So about 10 minutes for that. Now, right now I don't hear the water rushing. So I'm just trying to figure Huh. That's supposed to have the water running. Well, I'm just going to give that a minute. So now anyways, I've got these other, my couple wool and the two that I thought were wool. I'm going to wash these together. You know, you're supposed to wash light colors with light colors, but I don't, you know, I've had that sweater, this um, wool sweater for a long time. These ones, they just need to get washed. And then this one, it says hand wash only. So I'm going to actually put these on the hand wash wool cycle. I am not using soap on these, this load. I'm just going to I'm just gonna wash these with just plain water. I don't have these, I'm actually out of the, my wool light detergent today. So I'm just gonna have it running through with no detergent. I'm sure there's probably detergent in the, up in here somewhere. 
Looks like there might be a little bit of detergent up still in here from the last time stuff was gone through. And I do know there is always detergent somewhere in the line. So I'm just gonna do that for now. So I will be, oh, see now I hear the steam. Now I hear the water. I think it just took a little longer to get to it than normal because, or maybe I'm just busy talking and I'm not, you know, maybe I just, I just turn it on and I leave the room and so I never actually hear how long it takes for it to actually, for the water to actually turn on, but I hear it now. So that's good. And this is doing what it normally does. It's sensing the load to see how, uh, how big of a load it is. So how much water it has to fill, which is something I really think is really interesting and that these can do that. So I guess I will be back when both the settings are done and I'm ready to take, I guess it'll be this one first. So I'll be back in just a few moment, a few minutes when this load is done and I will start the next one. All right, so the trigger has stopped. Oops. Uh, here's those white items. So they're all nice and clean. I just have to go with the lint brush on a few of them where I've got, I said like, uh, dogs, two cats and a dog who all have dark fur. So I've got some of the little bit of pet hair. So I may have to go with the lint brush and go over it. But other than that, say that actually came out quite clean. The cuffs are all clean. No, it was the pants that had the most fur because my animals sit on my lap. But they are clean. Just said I have, just have to use the lint brush to get some of that little bit of lint off. But other than that, they are clean. Just like 10 minutes in the dryer on my, um, I was using the steam fresh setting. So I'm just going to Stop for one second and or I'm not gonna stop. I'm just gonna set this down for a second. But here are my these ones. They have ended too. This is the wool sweater. So I'm just gonna set my camera down. I need two hands to pull these out of the machine. Okay, let's see how these look. That's all nice. The cuffs look pretty good. I mean, it's got a little bit of stuff. I may have to just do the cuffs themselves just a little bit with some little bit of water and soap. Otherwise, that looks pretty good. And there's this one, same thing. It looks all nice and refreshed. And I do have the my wool shaver sweater saver thing and it kind of gets any of that peeled stuff off so I will be doing that later after these are fully dried just to get a nice just to get a better look at them just to get them like looking a lot nicer and there's that sweater yeah it doesn't feel as scratchy as it did so there's that one and there's this one so now this one's done so now I've got my tension rod. I know you're supposed to dry wool flat. Well, I don't have a flat surface at the moment. So I just have my tension rod here. I'm just gonna hang these up. If I can angle my camera. I don't know. I'm just gonna hang these up and see if this tension rod will allow me to hang anything on it. I don't know. I never know with the tension rods what the weight limit is going to be, if it's going to come crashing down, but I just want to hang these up. They're not wet, they're a little damp, so I don't, I'm not worried about anything having to be drip dried, but I just want to get them kind of hung up here. No, these ones that are very heavy. I just have to move a few things. I'll probably just hang them in the uh, front closet because there's nothing in the front closet at the moment. I think this is going to actually cause it to, to tip or fall because this one's pretty heavy. Oh, no. It's still hanging. Let me just move the camera so you can see. I've got the three of them hanging up. So now I'm going to just set my camera here. Let's see. I'm just 
gonna hang up the last one. I just need them to sit here just for a few minutes while I find somewhere else for them to go. Now I know you're supposed to, he said, uh, have it laying flat to dry when it's wool. I just don't have any flat surfaces at the moment to set these on. Let me just space these out a little bit. That was just one too heavy. That's okay, I'll move them to the front closet in a moment. But now I'm just gonna go hang those up in the other room and get ready for the next two, uh, next couple of loads. All right, so I have seven coats left. Um, they are about half of them are dry clean only. The other half are you can machine wash. I'm gonna use them all on my steam fresh setting in my dryer. So I'm gonna put the two white ones together. So I'm just gonna find the two white ones that I've got. The other white one and the other gray one I have to repair before I wash. So I said I've got them all, the snaps, zippers, um, enclosures, whatever, whatever they uh, you do up the coats with, all the, the pockets, everything are all shut. Uh, I don't turn my garments inside out. I know you can if you want to. I usually find because the stains are on the outside, I just like to have it uh, facing me where the stains are so I can tell if it's clean or not, if it needs to go through a second time. So I'm gonna put these two in. And I said I'm using the steam fresh setting. And that will take 10 minutes. I'm not gonna see, oh, my nose is just so itchy from the wool. Oh. I have those wool coats. I don't wear them too often, but when I touch them and then I touch my face, oh, it's just gonna bother me for just a little bit. So I'm just gonna see these. This is a pretty dark coat. And this is also a dark coat, so I'd probably put those two together and I'd wash the two gray ones together. And that leaves me with this one. I'm not quite sure. I'll probably just wash that one by itself. Well, I don't think it really matters. How I how I wash them, but so I've only got those few coats left. It's not going to take me as long to wash them as I thought it was going to take. Could have had all these done er sooner, but got busy doing a few other things while waiting for you know waiting for laundry to finish. I was still doing other stuff. So now I'm going to get my products that I need out from under here. This is still like all really clean from when I cleaned it. There's a few odd things that I've got put under here that aren't supposed to stay under here. Um, where am I? Uh, I don't see it. Okay, I've got this. This is the Oxy, it's that um, LA Totally Awesome Oxy Orange. I need that cleaner. I need the little brush. little, I have a small one that I use for clothing, and I do see it here, oh, I think it got moved somewhere, well this one's a brand new one, so I will use this one for the clothing, I have a special little one, it's a little smaller than this, uh, it's about half the size for the bristle part, it's, it's a little skinnier, about half the width. And I like to use that one, but I don't see it here. So I may I may have thrown it out if it was damaged. So I just gotta find my other cleaner that I need. So I'll be right back. Alright, so this is what I have for stain removal. So I've got the LA's totally awesome oxygen orange cleaner that works really good on stains. I have this. This is a stuffed bear cleaner from Build a Bear Workshop. Uh, it works pretty good on. I use this for more uh, stuffed animals and stuff. So, but it works good on some stains on clothing. If I didn't, if it was like a hand wash only item, I have this. This is also the. LA's Totally Awesome Power Oxygen Base Cleaner. It works good. This is chlorine free. 
This works good to make a little paste to get uh, tough stains out. Then I have this Oxyburst, it's the no name, and it says it's a multi-purpose stain remover for laundry carpets and more. And then I have this. This was bought because I bought the wrong one. Uh, this is from a liquidation place in town. Uh, I usually buy the one that's the laundry carpet one. I accidentally, because they're in the same bottle, they look the same, the picture is close. I forget there is something different about the label. It's just a little bit different. But the one I grabbed last time I bought this stuff was the paint and stain remover. And it says that it cleans, if I can find, um, okay. Pet messes, wine spills, hand and skin, blood, markers and ink, lipstick, nail polish, shoe polish, grease, scuff marks, label residue, artist supplies, loosening chewing gum, coffee marks, laundry detergent booster, children's toys, sports gear, uh, and boats and many others. I deal on most carpet, clothing, upholstery, bed linen, tablecloths, kitchen and bathroom surfaces in home, office, factory and recreational settings where accidents happen. So this stuff really works good. I've had this for quite a few years. I don't know how much I've used, but this is what I use to get all those stains out of my husband's clothes. So this is what I'm gonna be using today to get the stains out of my shirts. I wanted to experiment with his clothes first before I did my own, just because, um, I don't know, I just wanted to do his stuff first. So like I said, and I was working on, I said it was this, my Felix the Cat hoodie that I had been working on and I got a lot of the stains out of it. I don't think there's any, oh, I do see one on the sleeve. I don't see any more stains really for what it had looked well, I guess the sleeves still have a few but it was all the way down the whole front like Felix's eyes had these big like black or brown stains right on his face like right in his eyes so I've gotten it all off oh there's one right there there is right there so I'm gonna just get this little thing out a little bit of water. I'm just gonna wet where I need it to be wet. I'm just gonna take my little scrub brush here. Just give it a little bit of a brush, just so I can. When I do that, it you can see right where the stain is. I don't know why. It's just when it's wet, you can't see the stain. But then you just take the brush, and the stain just comes right up to the surface. So now I'm just going to open this bottle, just put a little bit on, and just scrub it into the stain. And I'm just going to let that sit and soak into the stain. And I'm just going to do that to all the shirts that have those stains. I'm just going to set it aside. I'm just going to go to the next shirt, do it to all of them. said it was just so you got what you can see the stain I I don't know what like I said it was my husband was working on in the garage or outside so it was some type of a <coughs> excuse me <coughs> this has a really strong smell it just got to me <clears throat> okay like I said, like last summer, my husband was busy working, you know, like around the backyard doing landscaping, gardening. He was cleaning the garage good. So I don't know, degreaser, oil, weed killer. I don't know, whatever he was working on, you know, just, oh, I can't even see it now. I don't know if that's just because of the color or what, but it looks like it's like taking that stain out. I was really amazed at how fast this stuff, this really worked. Now this shirt, uh, yeah, this Betty Boop didn't have any stains. It was the pink one. But I'm going to wash it with all these because it needs to be washed anyways. So here's the Betty Boop shirt. It's got this stain. Oh, where is it? 
right there. They're all like about the same size of a stain, which is really interesting. And they all just seem to have like, it's about the same size and same shape. And it was all within the same one or two loads. Oops, there's more up here. I don't know why, just the same one or two. I think we had enough you know, laundry. I was doing two loads of our laundry, but all my clothes that were mixed with his. I said, I'm trying to be really careful. If he was his clothes that he works with out in the garage or outside in the garden, or we were doing a lot of landscaping too and cleaning up the garage. So I tried to keep his stuff separate from mine unless it was the clothes I was wearing while I was working with him then I tried to wash those ones also separate from my regular clothes too but you know you miss a few things you know they, you don't see a little stain if he had like he spills a bit of grease or something on a dark shirt I didn't see it or I thought it was the other dark shirt and I threw the wrong one in the laundry, then I kind of wrecked it. That was this one here was my favorite shirt. And this was the first shirt that I saw all these stains, this nice purple one here. This one my husband bought me a few years ago for Christmas. So it was from Ricky's, so I know it did cost. Oh, I forgot to wet it first. <laughs> okay, that's okay. This one had a lot of uh, stains going down the front of it. This was, this was the first shirt that I saw all the stains when I did the laundry. And this one I had already had tried. To, uh, I didn't know what the stains were and so I thought it was great. So I have tried the white chalk. And it did lighten the stains which makes me think it probably wasn't oil or a grease splatter. Or I think it might have been more like a... Some other chemical that he was working with like a degreaser I don't know if degreaser would do that but you know like I know he was doing um landscaping so we were you know like a killex type of stuff I don't know whatever else he was using I don't know my husband uses for chemicals when he's out in the garage cleaning or doing the gardening and you have cobblestones that had to get cleaned off Scrubbed. And sometimes I find it easier with certain materials not to use the brush, just to take it and just kind of rub between hands like that. So I'm just going to set this one aside. I think I got it. I think I got all those stains now covered. It's okay because they they will be washed together. Now it was these last three that were the white ones that really got it. So I'm just going to fill my laundry and sink with some water. I'm just going to soak these ones in the end of them. Pour a little of this on the stain. But these ones here I really want to soak because they are the white. So they have other you know, just because they were you know, hard to wash white sometimes. They never look really clean they get that dingy yellowish brown tint to them sometimes so this one i'm just going to soak and i'm going to put in a scoop of right, my oxy powder stuff and i realized i don't have my little scoop i don't think i've got one in here no i don't have, i don't know where the little thing went that came in this I'm usually supposed to come with a little scoop I'm just gonna do a couple of sprinkles it's gonna add some more water I'm just gonna let these ones soak for a while just because they they do have a few stains, but they were they used to be all white, and now they're not as white as they should be. So, oh, I, have see, oh. and I have these other two shirts. I said these were my daughter when she colored her hair, so they've got the hair dye on it. Now these ones here, I'm going to spray with the Oxy Burst Cleaner. 
I have never used this. This will be the first time I've ever bought and used this. In the frame. It's hard to see where the camera is. That's why I like to use like, the other side. Well, I know it's backwards, but then at least I can make sure I'm lined up. I'm just gonna spray this on here. I don't expect the hair dye to come out. Like I said, if worse comes to worse, this will just be the shirt that she uses when she washes her hair and she colors her hair every time. Let me get a little bit of water on here. And just do this and see. Actually, it's starting to kind of come out. So I'm just gonna. It's really coming off. Again, it's a white shirt. So I'm just gonna stick it in here with these other white shirts. It can use with getting a little bit brighter white. And one more shirt that she had wore when she had done her hair. So it's got a lot of hair dye all over it. Now it's a colored shirt, so I don't want to put it in with the white. So I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna angle my camera this way just so I can see. So I'm gonna knock my camera into the sink. So you can see this one she washed she had washed it and it got the dye. So I'm gonna try it is this one. I'm just gonna spray this wherever I see the dye had come down the back. Like I'm not sure if she wore this and her hair was wet or she may have actually washed this. I don't I don't use a lot of this product stuff, me spraying laundry stuff. So sometimes if I if it's really stained, I'll use a little bit more of the product. And I'm just gonna leave this. I'm just gonna turn it this way. I'm gonna spray the front of the shirt too, just because I can see some of it came through the front. I think this shirt actually did go through the washer and the dryer. So I'm just gonna set this one aside and just let all that stuff I sprayed Oh, get into the shirt. Okay, so now my dryer has stopped. So I'm just, so these will be those other coats, the white coats. You'll be able to see how clean they came. This one had uh, some marks on the uh, down here. Right here. So you still got a couple little spots, which I can just, you know, work on. I just do that. Actually, I think I got some more of it off just by rubbing it. But no, the cuffs are clean, so that is good. So that one is done. I said it's got this is the belt that I have to work on cleaning. There's a couple little other stains on the sleeve. That's okay. I'll work on that. But for the most part, I say it's clean. And then there was this one here. It had a few stains on it, and it looks good. The stains are gone. It's all nice. So now I will put the next couple coats in. I'm just going to do this gray one. And this gray one. And I think I'm going to throw the black one in as well. So this black one had the hood and I took the hood off. And I've taken all the belts off because I washed the belt set. I'm just going to check the lint trap. Oh, there's a little bit of lint. I'm just going to remove the lint. I think I forgot to check that the last time, but that's okay. There's not a lot of lint because it's not like a full load of laundry. So again, I'm just going to put that in on my steam fresh. This one has the dial. Uh, so it's on the steam fresh for 10 minutes. So like I said, so now I've got, these were the ones I had sprayed with that cleaner. I'm going to put them in here and I'm going to take this orange shirt that I'd also sprayed. I'm going to throw it in there too. And I'm just going to put it on a 
speed wash and it will take about 15 minutes. Now because I sprayed them with cleaners, I'm not adding any detergent because I want the cleaners that I sprayed them with to, to do their work. So, start. so I will be back when everything is ready to be taken out. Okay, I'm back. So now here are my dark coats. See, they look good. There's that one. And then there's this one. This one actually had, this, this gray one actually had a few spots. So there's still a few little spots here that I'll have to scrub out. So that's okay, but the cuffs are what I was more worried about, you know, how clean they look. And then there's my black one. Oops, sorry. I'm just trying to do this one handed, and I just don't have a big space in my laundry room. So there's my black one. Again, like the cuffs you know, look really good. So now I'll set these aside. And I'm gonna do the last two. So there goes this. That one and this one. This one does also have like so like the this coral colored one. The cuffs are it's got some marks on the cuffs and it's this hood too. So right here. I didn't pre-scrub these. Usually I, if I have time I will. But today I just thought, no, I'm just gonna wash them and see. I may have to do a little scrubbing. I said the other one has got a couple little spots that I will have to uh, scrub. Off. So I'm just going to put this back through. So this is just on the steam fresh. And this was the clothes I had did that quick load, a quick wash with. So I'm pull this out and see. So here is Felix the cat. So you can see that stain is gone right here. Betty Boop shirt didn't have the stains, so it's good, but she's all clean. You can see Pudgy, he's all white. Her eyes are white, so they haven't been that white for a while. I'm just going to pause that for a minute while I do this. So here's this shirt that got washed with the blue tie, blue hair dye. Yeah, see, that's not going to come out any more than that. So I think it was washed and dried. So I think it was like set in. Some of it's come off. So something like this, what I might do, I'll see if my daughter wants to. I do have some uh, fabric dye. I might just re-dye it a different color. I don't know what will happen with the white shells. Uh, I've never really dyed clothes that had pattern like this before. So it'd be interesting to see if she would like to try that and see if we can, you know, to get some of this tie, this hair dye out. And here's this green shirt. It had the stain right up here. Yeah, see it's like, I go like this. So the stain was right in here. I don't see it. It's still damp, so when it's dry, it might reappear because I do see something there, but I can't tell if that's the wrinkle because it's damp and it's got wrinkles or what. But and then this is the other Betty shirt. You can see how white Pudgy is now, and you can see how white her eyes are. Or I guess in this one, it's just the one eye, and then all the way down here. Uh, yeah, see that stain is that stain is still there on this shirt, but the other ones that was up here I don't see. So like I said, even with my husband's, it took several washings to get some of these stains out. And it was just kind of like if they got lots of stains, just kind of slowly work on each little stain. Like this has still got a little spot, but it was a pretty big spot there, and this was a pretty big one down here. And then here is my purple shirt. It had the two big stains right on the front of the shirt. Let's see. Let's 
Again, it's still damp, so it's hard to tell if the stain is out. But I think it's, I mean, I do see a little spot here, but I know how big the stains were, and I don't see any down the rest of the shirt. So I'm going to have to let these dry. I would put these in the dryer, but I can't because I've still got my last two coats in here. And then as for this one, because I do see this stain, so I'm going to work on this one once more. So I'm just going to throw that over there. And same with this shirt. I'm not going to put this one through the dryer just because it had, it still does like the, that's blue and green hair dye. So that I'm not going to do anything with. So these ones I'm just going to put back in just the washer just for a few minutes just because I don't have any surface for them. And I'm just going to come over here and check on these. So you can see like that blue hair dye is really coming out of this white shirt. And so these white shirts, I hadn't scrubbed them yet, but there's the stain but you can see how white the shirt is going where there isn't any stain which is kind of what I wanted to do I really wanted to whiten these shirts up so if I can get them to whiten up then I can find where the stains were and I can work on the stains separately see like Wonder Woman like look how bright her eyes are they haven't been that bright for quite a while because it's just it's hard to keep certain whites clean so I know she had a big stain. Yeah, I can see I hadn't scrubbed the stain. So the stain is still right there. But the rest of the shirt is getting really white and the water is really dirty. So that's always a good thing. And this is that tank top that had that big mark right across the whole front of it. As this actually got tangled around my husband's shirt in the washer. So... This one I wasn't too worried about if I couldn't get the stain out. So I usually use this one when this one or the black one. And I've got another black tank that's got some marks on it. Um, well, the black one had some bleach stains from you know doing laundry or something, or powdered bleach of some kind. Might have been from doing my hair years ago, but uh, stuff like shirts like this would be what I would wear if I when I'm coloring my hair or uh Cleaning the house when you're using like strong cleaners and you just don't want to risk getting your good clothes or your better clothes dirty. This would be the type of stuff if it's already stained. So this one, I just want to see if I can get it cleaned a little bit more. But it's starting to come whiter in the rest of the shirt. So maybe with a little bit more scrubbing. So I'm surprised at how white these shirts are starting to look. Just sitting here in this water. I'm just going to let these soak for a little bit longer and then I will uh, do each stain and scrub them and really try to get it clean. And then I have these belts. So these are the belts for the coats. And I said this is the white belt I got to work on. Which I was going to do when I was doing those white shirts. I forgot about the belts. They were got buried under the coats. I'm just going to throw that over in that water. But these belts here. So that's the black belt goes with the black coat with the fur. You know, the belts are usually pretty good. I might just wipe them down like this belt. I'll probably just wipe it with a damp cloth. Same with this one. I think it looks pretty clean. Probably just wipe it down with a damp cloth. I didn't put the belts in the machine. I always find um, the belt, sometimes they come undone and they become tangled around your other clothing and Belts can actually wreck your other clothing. Buckles like this in the dryer or the washer can damage the inside of the machines if they're the metal. So I try not to wash too many heavy metal things together or in, in a load. And then of course I have the hood. The hood looks okay, but again, it's got a few little marks on here. So I'll probably just wipe it with a damp cloth and then I said this hood it's got the faux fur and it's got some where it's kind of matted in a few places like it looks like it probably got wet from you know like just um, being outside it was raining or snowing and it just gets you know wet 
It's like your cats and dogs, if their fur gets like this thick and it gets wet, it gets matted. So the faux fur does mat sometimes too. So I will just dampen this and I will do with, I will probably do this the way I would um, comb out uh, Barbie hair. And that's just getting it like a little bit damp with water and a spray bottle with a little bit of uh, it, fabric softener. And then you just take a, a baby hairbrush or a wig comb and just kind of slowly brush it out. Or I even said like uh, a pet brush, just very slowly work with any of the big chunks that are like really matted. Just, just so it looks a little bit nicer. I mean, it's fine if I didn't get to it, but I really like to get some of this stuff out. Just, I think it probably just, like I said, it probably just got wet from, you know, raining, snowing. And it's been a few years since I've wore this coat. So that's what I will do, work on that. So now I'm gonna press start back again on there. So I will be back when these coats are fresh. Last two coats. I'll show you the cuff. Yeah, it's got a little bit of it's a little bit of dirt on the cuff, which I knew because I should have. I usually do pre-wash the cuffs first before I do this, but it's okay. I'll work on that. I've got my sink full of water right now, so I'll be doing that anyways. But the hood, the little marks came off the hood, so that's good. Just around the cuff part. So that's usually where you get, you know, stuff stuck. And here's my nice blue coat. Now it just needs to be, just need to take like the lint roller to it. And just get the pet hair off. Because that's the other thing is certain coats attract the pet hair. But I can just, if I can find the sleeve. Like there's like no marks on the cuff. I mean, maybe a little bit here and there. Some of that doesn't come off though. Just over time, you know, the cuffs kind of get a little dirty. It's a little harder to clean, but like I said, I've got my sink full of water. So I'm just going to shut that. So I've been working on, while well, that was doing it stuff, I was working on these. So I'm just going to lay this out. I'm just, just going to set these coats here. I don't have a table or a surface in my laundry room. My laundry room is just a walkway. Okay, so this is that tank top that was completely like the scent, the middle third of the tank top was just completely like black or really dark. And I've been working on it scrubbing. Is this the front? Yeah, this is the front. I just want to make sure I wasn't showing the wrong side because it's the front that was all, and so you can see I was really scrubbing here. So I kind of scrubbed here, but I really wanted to show the difference of when you really scrub. So I'll show you what I did. I just have my little brush. Got my little brush here, and I was just going in a circular motion like this, just trying to get that stain to get lifted. And it is really coming out. And what I was using on here is that paint and stain remover. So I'm just really surprised. Like I said, like I did this with a couple of my husband's shirts first. Then I thought I'd be brave enough to try it on my stuff. It worked fine on his black shirts. So, but you can see the stain is, it's coming out. You can see where I poured it. Oops, angle right. You can see where I poured it versus where I hadn't poured it. So I think if I pour a little bit just right here, a little bit right there, and scrub that in, that stain is going to start to really come out. And I'll show you the other shirts because I've been working on all these shirts. So here is my Wonder Woman shirt. What I'm using as a table this is just these um, Rubbermaid type totes with full of pet food. So, but see this one here, like I said, like 
her eyes have not been that white for a long time. Like even the white on her boots and the stars, they are like super white. But there was a big stain was right here. I mean, I still see a bit of the where it is, like the edge of it. But it was this whole area here was all the stain. Oh, I see there's a little bit down here I didn't work on because I didn't see that till now. So I'm really, I you know, hope oh, there's another stain up here. I didn't see that till now either. And then this is the white shirt of my daughter's that had the blue and green hair dye up here. Look at that. No, I haven't done any other scrubbing. I just sprayed it with that initial stuff and it's been soaking in the water. So, I mean, this is because it's this collar. Um, I don't know if I can get it to come out anymore. But I think that looks really good. It's wet, so it's always hard to tell how light or dark it's the stain is going to be. But because it's permanent hair dye, it might not come out any more than that. But considering the way it looked, I'm really impressed. And that was the... Um, the oxygen spray cleaner which i've never used before it was the first time i bought that stuff so it was this one here the oxy but oxy burst and i said also with pouring some of this in and i also sprayed a little bit of this on it too i never used the build a bear cleaner but i brought it out i knew i wouldn't be using it but i do find that if you have any like um hand wash only garments the teddy bear cleaner actually does work pretty good. It's because teddy bears you generally don't, um, you generally don't put in the machine. Now it does have a sticker here from uh, Salvation Army, so I didn't buy it from Build a Bear. I bought it from the Salvation Army, probably maybe like two bucks or something. I don't remember anymore. It's been quite a few years. The label looks like this. Like it's hard to read the instructions uh, because it just sits in my covered with all the other cleaners and I do actually use this for is my own kids toys when they spill when they were younger and they had stains on it and then here is this one this shirt here I was really impressed with how white this shirt is looking oh what is that that's something new that pink what something pink I don't know hmm. I don't know where that pink mark came from. That just appeared, but it's kind of gone now. But there, this had these big spots. So that's as far as I could get them. These ones don't seem to want to come out as easily as the other ones did. <coughs> Excuse me. Just, oh, the cleaners in a small room. Let's see if I just keep working with it because it's got so much cleaner in the shirt as I just go like this it's bringing the cleaner is coming out and I think with that it's bringing the stain out too so I'm just going to keep working with these shirts a little bit longer and see if I can get a few more of the stains to come out and then I although I think I'm tempted to just now because I've got those ones in here I might just throw all these in I don't know what this is gonna do they're all wet and soapy I think I might just do a speed wash with no soap added, just because they've all got soap in it. It's gonna take about 15 minutes. Just, I just wanna know what they're gonna do. I'm tired of scrubbing. I think the clothes can just kind of scrub themselves now. And I've also been working on this belt here. I don't know, it might be like a mildew. So I'm gonna do this and scrub a little more. I might just take some, a uh, little bit of bleach and I might just soak this in bleach overnight and whatever it does it does it's just a white belt because I'm just going like this this stuff is not coming off it's not moving I'm just 
just if it's mildew i just i said i wouldn't have bought the coat if i would have not seen the belt or i would have you know talked to the manager there and see what they could do because like I mean, what are you supposed to do you can't use the belt still you know 20 bucks for a Kelvin Klein jacket, you know, with or without the belt, that's okay. It's not like I can't get another white belt. Like I said, when I found it was like this, I had another white jacket with another belt that was so similar. The It was a little bit narrower, so it didn't quite fit on the coat, like in the little thing quite right, but good enough. And then I forgot about this belt needing to be clean because I was going to do it, and then I forgot about it. And then I found it when I was uh, reorganizing my bedroom. So I think I'm just going to let this soak in this water for a little bit. But you can see how dirty this water has gotten. I have not changed the water. This is the water that the shirts were all soaking in. I'm just going to dry my hands. It's all you know, slimy. And I said, this shirt here, I cannot get it any cleaner. In fact, I think it actually got a few more stains doing that. Um, so I will talk to my daughter and see what she wants. If she wants to try to dye it and see what this happened, what happens to the shell pattern. Oh, that'll be interesting to see. Or she just keeps it like this and this be the shirt that she wears when she does her hair. too bad that the hair dye got on here and it went through the washer and the dryer. It's a really nice shirt. I know she loved this shirt. So, okay, well, I guess I will be back in a few minutes. Like I said, the thing's got a few more minutes, I guess like 14 minutes. So I will be back when the shirts in the washer are done. Okay, so I've taken all the clothes that had all the stains. I've got them all stacked here. I'm going to throw them in my dryer because I'm just going to put them on a very cool setting. I don't want the stains to get set in, but here's that tank top that had this big, right in the middle third of the tank top. There's still a slight stain, but I mean, it's kind of almost wearable for just like around the house or under something. And then here's the green one. See that stain that was up here? It is gone. Here's the pink Betty Boop. There is still a slight stain up here. I didn't see that till now. So I was really working on the big stains down in here. So anywhere where there's still a few small stains or where the stains are gonna take some more time, I will continue to work on them. See, here's this one. This one was such a dingy yellow color. And then here's the stains and I've said like, I'm going to have to keep working on them, but they are coming out. This is like the first time I've actually tried to get these out. Here's my Wonder Woman. Now her eyes and her, her outfit, the white is so white. And then there was the big stain was like right here. I mean, it's still kind of there, but I think this shirt is kind of going to be like wearable, like for sure around the house. And then I see I've got another stain up here that I've got to work on. And I saw another stain up here that I'm going to have to work on. But I just want to get to the major stains first and see if I can get them out. Now, this is the shirt from my daughter with a whole collar. It was all blue from and green from her hair dye. I mean, if you do that and if you flip it this way, I mean, you can't see. The hair color is no longer gone through. It's mostly gone. So, I mean, she can wear this shirt. I mean, yes, you've got a little bit of staining on the inside of the collar, but I don't think it's going to be, once you wear it, I don't think it's going to be, like, really that noticeable. And here's my other Betty Boop shirt. It's the blue one. Again, I say Betty's eyes and pudgy have never been this white since I got it. Here's my Felix shirt. This is where I had the big stain that I was working on. And then I just saw another stain, oh, right here. I didn't see this before, it just appeared. I don't know wh when, or if I just kind of missed it because I was just focusing on where I saw the big stains. So there's a little stain here, but now I know I'll be able to get it out. 
And then here is my favorite purple shirt that had like two or three big splotches down and there is nothing really here. So I'm just gonna put all these in the dryer. Oh, what is that? Oh. oh, these always fall off that one coat. It happens all the time. I didn't even notice yet. So let's double check the lint. Just gotta clean out the lint trap first. Like I said, that's usually a mistake. And my lint trap is usually not a lot of lint. It's usually like just pet hair. Just looks like a big clump of cat hair. So, put that in. I'm just gonna double check that there's no more of those other clips for my uh, coat. So that one coat, it's that one buckle, and just not strong enough to clip it back in place. So every time I put it through, the buckles always just come off. So I'm just gonna put this on a very low temp dry. And I'm not, not going to need the whole 50 minutes. I'm going to, uh, won't let me set the timer. Okay. Then I will just turn it to the manual timer. I'm going to do, yeah, here. I'm just going to do 15 minutes. Oops. And let me see. There, ultra low temperature for 15 minutes. Because I don't want a lot of heat. Because I don't want those any of the new stains or the stains I haven't worked on to get set in. So I'm just going to grab a little buckle from my blue jacket. So I will be back when this has dried and you can take a look and see uh, how much the, the stains have gotten off. And I'm still working on this belt here. I'm just going to let it soak for, for a little bit. Uh, I'm going to exchange the water soon and I'm going to add a little bit of bleach solution a little bit of bleach to the water and just have this soak and I just decided that if I can't get this to come clean it's okay um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably just get some white material and I might just make a new cover for the belt so, so I'm just gonna dry my hands because it's all my hands are like slimy so I'm just gonna leave that soak for a little bit longer I'm just gonna scrub that a little more but yeah, I was using this I bought. I have never used it. Uh, there was another product I used to use for stains, which I guess they no longer make, I guess. Oops, there's some more lint. So I will be back in just a few minutes when the dryer has stopped. Okay, the dryer has stopped. I'm gonna take these out. So this is that white shirt. It is really clean. There's a little bit of the blue still on there, but other than that, it's not really noticeable. Here's the pink. Oops, I'm just gonna set this down for a second. I'm just gonna rotate this camera angle so I can see what I am filming. It's just easier to use it. So there's that collar. I said it's barely noticeable. I dropped this shirt on the floor. So here is the Betty Boop shirt, the nice pink one. I said I was concentrating on the big stain that was down here. Now it's just a tiny little, it looks, now it just looks like I may have dripped a little coffee instead of this big massive stain. And yeah, it's got this stain up here that I'm going to have to work on a little more but again I'm not too worried if I have to work on a few more stains later later I just really wanted to get the majority of the stains out of my clothes so I could wear them this was my favorite shirt my husband got me the stains are gone the shirts are still a little damp so I'll have to put them back in the dryer but I didn't want to put them in uh, too long and I know I have it on the ultra cool setting so it does take longer to dry but I was kind of worried that the stains would set in if I did that. So there's the tank top. It's like not even noticeable. I mean, yes, it's noticeable because it's kind of like just right across this part. But I mean, I could wear this, you know, with underneath a, a different shirt 
out in public and not be too worried that you would see that big, big mark. I will still work on it to get, now I've gotten it this light, I just keep on to keep working on it to get it back to its white, white color. And here's the other white shirt. Oh, this is the Donut Worry shirt. Again, this shirt has not been this white since I probably got it, but there's the stains. Again, I don't know what my husband had on his clothes that rubbed off onto mine in the wash. So just this slight little stain, it's like hardly noticeable. It's still there, I mean, I can still see it. It's, but it's compared to the way they were looking, it's you know just need a little more you know, scrubbing and it'll be clean. Oh, well, this is the Wonder Woman shirt. See, her eyes are so white. They haven't been that white for a long time. But see, right there, it's gone. Or was it the other side? Now I can't even tell which side the stain was on. I don't even see the stain at all. It was this side. Because I do see a little bit of brown still there. But, you know, I mean, I could actually wear this now and... You wouldn't even see it. I mean, now it just looks like the shirt just needs to be washed and it's got a little yellow dinginess too in a few places like white clothing gets when they need to be washed. Here's this one. Right here, it the stain is completely gone. And this other this blue Betty Boop because I didn't remember which Betty Boop shirt had the stains on it. So it was the pink one, but here's the blue one. You can see how white Betty's eyes are and how white Pudgy is. Just how bright the whole shirt, like even the white highlights on the word Betty Boop have not been that white since I got it. Oh, her teeth. You can see her little white teeth or the little white mark on her. I guess it would be her teeth. I guess it would be the little highlight uh, glossy part on her lipstick. And my Felix the Cat hoodie. That big stain under his eyes is completely gone. Like the stain was covered his entire face. I had been working on it. It was just that one spot. Now it's gone. And I did see that one spot near the pocket, you know, right there. So I will work on that and get that gone. But I'm really impressed with how the stains are gone. So I'm just going to put these back in the dryer just so they can actually finish drying. In one time I don't want to throw them in with one big pile I kind of want to just shake it out and loose and just kind of throw them in now I'm just gonna put them in on a regular setting not a high heat but obviously not a low ultra heat now that I know there's not much stain and nothing's gonna be set in so I'll do that in a minute so this and I just wanted to see Thank you to everybody who subscribed to this channel and my other channel. This one here is Beauty on a Budget. My other channel is Made with Love. And I guess I can't believe the amount of subscribers I have on my other channel, but I can't wait to get that num same number on this channel. That would be really good too. Again, just thank you for subscribing and watching my videos, and I will see you all in my next videos. Bye.